In this section, we'll take a look at the GUI of CPS 2.0. If you wish to learn more about a particular GUI section, please navigate to its specific topic in this module. The main screen of the application can be divided into four sections, the menu bar, the action bar, set categories, and the information pane. Let's start with the menu bar together with the action bar right below it. These two bars allow you to access all of CPS 2.0 operations. The menu bar contains options divided into distinct sections, whereas the action bar allows for quicker access to the most common functions. Below the action bar, on the left of the screen, we have the Set Categories menu. You can use Set Categories for navigating the user configurable radio parameters within a CPS 2.0 archive file. Radio parameters are organized into folders called Sets. Right above the Set Categories menu, you can see the navigation path. It is useful when you click through sets and need to quickly navigate to a particular radio parameter. Moving down from the Set Categories menu, you can see the information windows. As you edit parameters within a configuration, the information windows provide validation, warning, search, and help details. The last element of the CPS 2.0 main screen is the information pane. After navigating to a particular set, the programming pane shows the available radio parameters.